Welcome to step one of the Getting Started with Zen Server video series. In this first step of the series, we'll be launching Zen Server. If you haven't done so already, download Zen Server from Zen.com. For installation instructions, check out Zen Server's installation guide. So, after successfully installing Zen Server, open your browser and enter the following URL. The Launch Zen Server Wizard is opened. The first dialog of the wizard is the License Agreement dialog, and all you have to do here is read Zen Server's End User License Agreement, select the checkbox below, and click Next. In the next dialog, you can select which settings you would like to launch Zen Server with. Selecting Development launches Zen Server with Server and PHP settings optimized for a development environment. Selecting this profile also enables the Z-Ray by default. Production for a single server launches Zen Server with settings optimized for a production environment. The third option launches Zen Server with server and PHP settings optimized for a clustered production environment. I'm going to launch Zen Server optimized for development. In the next dialog, enter the passwords for accessing the Zen Server UI. First for the admin user role, and then for the developer user role. Passwords can be changed and managed later on, but it's still a good practice to make note of the passwords you enter here. Clicking Next, Zen Server installs the built-in libraries, Zen Framework 2, Zen Framework 1, and Symfony. Finally, we get a summary of our launch settings. All we have to do now is hit the Launch button, and Zen Server is launched. Congratulations, you have successfully launched Zen Server. What now? Check out the next step in the series to learn how to verify your installation.